what's up guys how are you so today i will show you some quick processes of the artworks that i created and because i am sick and i can't really talk a lot this is not going to be a detailed tutorial but still it's going to be pretty enjoyable and interesting to watch and if you wonder why i have these skiing glasses on my head well that has nothing to do with me being sick it's just i'm just crazy so that's yeah that's the best answer probably with that said let's get into our video this is the first artwork i will show you as a quick process this one is called actually smoking kills and when i released it lots of people messaged me telling me oh i'm smoking i don't know how to quit it and so on blah 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 and i was like sorry i can't help you i just created this artwork i'm not some kind of magician so anyway and it got pretty popular it got around 1000 likes and uh, lots of people loved it so i'll just see how it was created so first of all i'm just drawing with white color on her inside her eyes Next thing I do, I actually create brightness uh, contrast layer and pump up the brightness. And then what I need to do, I need to invert the mask so I don't see brightness anywhere. And then using my brush tool, I can actually draw with a white color in order to uh, save tell Photoshop, okay, show brightness only in this area. So again, I draw with my brush tool. As you can see, I can see the brightness here. And uh, now I need to make the, the brightness a little bit smoother for that i'm actually gonna use gaussian blur as you can see i just use gaussian blur on the brightness mask in order to make it blurry and it looks much better right now next thing i do is i use ellipse tool in order to create an ellipse in on top of her head so it looks like an angel halo and also we need to make it blurry as well so again we use gaussian blur next thing we have to do is we actually um, just add some outer glow to the halo using layer styles in photoshop as you can see it looks pretty cool and then we just use our brush tool in order to delete some parts of the image and make it look like uh, scars on her face. And again we just add some brightness and make it look like it's just coming out of her face. And uh, that's it. It's, it's actually not that difficult. And here I'm just using camera raw filter in order to adjust the uh, coloring. And uh, yeah, that's it basically. So it's uh, not that much to do actually. And da -dum. So. Let's now go to the artwork number two. Next, I want to show you this artwork. As you can see, we have this kind of fire here and also we have this kind of black thing here. I don't know how it, what it is called. Anyway, it looks cool. And again, this one got even more likes, over 2000 likes. And at that time, for me, that was like a very unique situation. I think it was my most liked post ever when I posted this. So first of all, I just want to change the colors. And again, as you can see, I'm using camera raw filter in order to play with colors and make them really bright. I'm adding more orange red and so on now I'm drawing with black color inside the eyes and as you can see I make it totally black and then I'm using as when I draw it completely I'm gonna use a blending mode in order to make it blend with uh, her with her eyes boom as you can see now the eyes are dark and it looks pretty cool next thing I do I actually take pen tool and I start drawing the flame shape so I just draw flame paths basically how I want the flame to look as you can see that's what I draw and uh, then I go to filter, I go to render and then I go to flame. So here we have this kind of flame option and it actually helps us to create really uh, cool flame effects. As you can see I'm just using it in order to create, render some flames. And then I'm just copying it onto other many, um, I don't know what this thing called, anyway I copy it to everywhere as you saw. And here again I'm just drawing with black color and I am so I created a new layer draw with black color and I also blended my layer with the face so again I think I use multiplayer or something like that in order to make sure that it's not completely black but it's actually blended with the skin so as you can see now you just have to draw with black color and just you know make it look like it's dropping down like that so that's it basically with the, for this process as you can see it's also not that uh, difficult to create it was also pretty quick I would say right right and yeah almost forgot to say make sure to subscribe or i will come to your house delete your photoshop and delete all of your files on your computer and that's really horrible right <laughs> so this is the next work that i want to show and uh, here i used my special technique which i invented by accident at least i never saw anyone using this technique before or showing how to use it this also looks pretty cool many people love these colors and I also have a special tutorial on how to create this exact color, this exact pattern. For some reason I called it headless. <laughs> oh, because she's holding her head in her hands. And wait, but that, that doesn't make her headless, right? 
that's that's stupid i just name my artworks like any stupid things that first come to my mind so again as you can see the image is pretty dope i was happy to find it and first thing we need to do we need to use pen to learn to create the shape that we are going to cut out so i'm going to cut out her eyes as you can see i'm just creating this kind of shape here and when the shape is done i'm turning it into a selection and then i'm using just brush and mask uh, in order to you know delete parts of the face and uh, as you can see boom we just get rid of it uh, next thing i do i actually use uh, my rainbow glitch technique in order to create this kind of glitches here and i have a tutorial for that if you don't know how to create it you can just see it on my channel and again as you can see i'm creating this liquid really beautiful one and I'm doing it again because I'm experimenting and here I just started um, creating the shadows with just black color brush and uh, I'm just creating the shadows like that in order to make it look more realistic okay I decided to do it over again because it looks like I wasn't happy with the way it turned out first time so again I'm creating this pattern again yeah and now I'm also making it drop like it's getting out of her face so it's not only inside but it's also outside and uh, here I added again shadows as you could see and also adding some of it on her lips so as you can see I have the color on her lips and now I just need to add some color collection again with camera raw filter which is actually my favorite filter for changing the colors so if you don't know it yet just go to filters and then camera raw filter and check it out and then again playing with temperature and other stuff and here uh, so what I'm doing here I know it's a little bit it's a kind of quick jump but still I created a hue saturation effect and then again i used mask in order to make sure that i show it only on her hands and not anywhere else and now i'm trying to add some uh, oil paint so to make this thing look like oil paint as you can see we saw it here i see it looks like it was painted and for that we're actually going to stylize and we're gonna use oil paint and here i'm just playing with it in order to make it look like a paint as you can see it looks pretty cool and that's it basically that's the uh, final artwork so guys with that said my camera is already dying actually and i showed you three artworks and i really hope you enjoy this and almost forgot to tell you that i have i have tons of classes and you can access all of them for free if you just go to learnfromfred.com and uh, there you can go to membership and there you can start your free trial to access all of these cool classes that i have here so they're actually paid but you can get them for free for a whole month and you can learn so much cool stuff i have so many different tutorials even how to create instagram masks which is a pretty trending t t topic right now with that said let's just get back and before i say goodbye make sure to go make sure to check the link below i have some uh, cool t-shirts i add my artworks on the t-shirts and as you can see you can find some really nice stuff here i'm sure you will find some things that you really really like okay i like to use this actually a time machine and i will go back to the future where i came from because that's the only way how i know how to create all of this right right <laughs> see you guys bye bye